Welcome to Science From Home. I'm your host, Molly, with Spokane County Library District. Uh, today, this, this is another video about waves. Previously, um, I did a dancing race experiment about sound, sound waves. Uh, today, we're talking about light waves. So without going into too much detail, light, like sound, travels in waves. Uh, when it hits an object, like my shirt or the table, some of the waves get absorbed by the object and some of the waves, the light waves, get reflected back into our eyes. Much of what we see is because light is being reflected off of things into our eyes. It's also how we see color. Uh, and as the light is traveling, it's doing so as a wave. Today's experiments are all about bending light. This is called refraction. Refraction helps create optical illusions uh, because it bends the light, which can affect what our eyes see. It can affect what's reflected back at us. The materials for today's experiment, it, they're pretty basic. You need some paper, uh, a marker, a pencil, and a clear glass filled with water. We're actually gonna be doing three very simple experiments with these materials. So the first thing we're gonna try with our materials is we're gonna to try to reverse an arrow. So for this, you need your glass of water, your paper, and the marker. So I'm gonna draw a pretty thick arrow. You want it to be pretty thick on the paper. So I'm drawing that. Okay, so it's pointing this way. I'm gonna hold my, my finger here. Let's see. And now it's pointing back at my finger. I didn't do anything to it. All I did was move it. And now my finger and it are pointing in the same direction again. But now it's pointing at my finger. Next up, we're gonna try to use water to magnify something. So um, all you need is something with writing on it. I wrote hi and let's see, when I move it near the water, I would say it gets bigger, that H gets really wide. Um, this is a coaster that says, here's to you. So when I move it, the rabbit on the coaster right there gets a lot bigger. If you ever need a magnifying glass, you need to make one in a pinch to look at something. Now you know you can use water and a clear glass. Finally, the third experiment is we're gonna see if we can get this pencil to bend. All I'm gonna do is stick it in the water and it kind of looks bent, it kind of worked. I'll move it around. It's definitely magnified when I stick it in. Oh, there we go. The pencil now, the top and the bottom don't. So you have the top coming down and then it doesn't line up with the bottom of the pencil. If you're following along and trying these at home, um, keep in mind, it, it does take a lot of fiddling. So we just did three different super simple experiments. And the crazy thing is that they actually all work in pretty similar ways, even though what we did was different. So we learned that refraction occurs when waves, like light waves, change directions. But how does this happen? So when a wave moves from one medium, like the air, into another medium, like the water inside my glass, the wave changes speed, 
and that causes the wave to bend. So it makes sense that a wave, a, a, a light wave moving through the air might slow down when it gets to water because water is thicker. And when it does slow down, it bends. So in our first experiment, which was the arrow, the light wave travels through the air, then it goes through the glass, through the water, out the other side of the glass, back into the air. So we end up seeing the reverse image of our arrow because the light has now changed directions. So if it entered going this way, and now that's what would make us see the regular arrow, now the light bends and it comes out the glass going in the opposite direction. And because what we see is a reflection of light, if the light rays are now going in the opposite direction, what we see is the opposite of what we have. Our arrow seems to flip around. Okay, so our second experiment was using light and water in a glass to magnify things, like writing. Um, and this works because very similarly, when the light rays hit, travel through the glass and then the water, they bend. As we learned, they refract uh, because of the change in speed. And it gets complicated, but basically the reflection we get back of what we're seeing is at an angle that makes it appear larger. Finally, our third experiment was when we put the pencil into the water and it looked bent and magnified. Um, that is simply because of the refraction that is occurring with the light the light waves. Um, most that is that is entirely because when the light is changing speed and bending because of the water, uh, it, it it changes the angle again, and so we see the pencil is bent even though we know the pencil is straight. Um, all in all, science is pretty cool, uh, and refraction is something that's fun to learn about. Um, hopefully you guys can try some of these experiments at home. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again another time.